What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by OutstopNL. My name is Martin and today I am taking a look at my BMW M3 G80 and today I'm finding out if I should have gone for the American muscle variant of a family performance car. Because this is my family performance car. This is the car I take my kids to daycare in with the wife, the four of us in the car, enjoying the car, enjoying our journey, just enjoying our lives as petrol heads. Yes, even my two little girls are true petrol heads. Love sitting in the back of the car, but shouldn't I have gone for this? The Dodge Charger Hellcat. It's a lot more powerful. In a lot of countries, these cars are about as expensive for instance, in the US, an M3 is about 70K dollars, as is a Charger Hellcat. In Germany, it's also quite equal. This starts at about 82,000, and this is also in that area. So let's first take a look at the Hellcat. Um, I really prefer this over the Challenger Hellcat. The Challenger being the, uh, the coupe, the two-seater, well, it's not a two-seater, it's a two-door, however you want to call it. This is a lot more practical. This is Max's seating position, so it's a lot to the back. But the space in the back is really, really a lot. They even have heated seats in the back. I mean, that's so convenient. That's always the case with American cars. They are so convenient. A lot of practical values and this boot space is just immense um, this has been such a nice car uh, these last days i've had this car for a few days so i uh, really really enjoy it and my crap in the m3 my biking stuff remember these my golden tips i now have the carbon tips from fi um, yeah i've done a few upgrades i've had the car for like six months now uh, absolutely love the car uh, i've done downpipes and the exhaust and of course the race chip because yeah they are not equals in power because this is 770 horsepower 880 newton meters somewhere around that area incredible power and that is 480 horsepower and 550 newton meters so that's a big big difference let's have a look at that 6.2 hemi v8 supercharged because it's well it's not a thing of beauty it looks very purposeful it's not about having a carbon fiber engine cover it's it just looks the way it looks you know it's not a beautiful engine it's just very very powerful and um, that's what i really really like about the charger hellcat it's it's practical it's purposeful it's no bullshit it's it's not about intricate materials like carbon fiber and stuff it doesn't have any carbon fiber it doesn't have carbon fiber brakes it just has a very very good set of brembos uh, and even on the Autobahn, this thing will do 312. Uh, and you don't need any stupid optional driver's package, blah, 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 like with this one. Because normally these things do 250, but I have the stupid driver's pack, um, which sets you back a few grand. And then you can do 290. So I tend to go towards the Dodge on that area. You don't get any bullshit. This is a bit of bullshit. So what do you think of the looks, guys? Uh, I think the M3 is a lot more busy, a lot more about aerodynamically shaped parts and carbon fiber roof and stuff like that. Uh, this is just a very, very powerful charger. You pay for the engine and it's in a Dodge charger. I think that's the approach. You also get a rear spoiler, which is hollow as always with the, with the Hellcats. With the Challenger Hellcat, you even get like a, 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 
a hollow plastic spoiler which hasn't which which even hasn't been painted so the exhaust this is the american exhaust which is illegal in europe so aec europe uh, the importer of dodge vehicles uh, they have to modify the exhaust uh, with a little valve that opens and closes at certain RPM. But it still sounds absolutely insane. A lot better than this as stock, because this, of course, is a three liter straight six bi-turbo S58 engine. Um, a more subtle approach to a performance sedan. This is just big, big power V8. Uh, yeah, the American way, and this is the European way, having a smaller engine uh, with very advanced techniques getting more and more power out of them. You can also get this as a competition, 510 horsepower, you get 100 newton meter extra, and a ZF HP. It's the same ZF HP, roughly the same, as you get in this. Okay, enough with the talks, let's get driving. Hope Max is around here somewhere. Where is he? Maxi boy. Jesus Christ. He's not getting paid this month. There he is. You drive the Alcat. Gangsta. I drive the M3 with the tuning off. So that's stock power. And then we can see whether I made the right choice. Well, when you get in here, you just think, okay, this is absolutely beautiful. The carbon fiber race buckets, uh, the carbon fiber interior trim, the dash, it's just beautifully made. The leather, the orange leather, um, I really like it in combination with the exterior, the individual paint I went for. It's just a lovely car. Now, of course, this is a manual and that's the auto, but it's a fast manual. I think it's not going to be easy for him. Max is going to drive in the front and that way we can see by how much he's going to pull away because the power difference, I mean, is a lot. It's 240 horsepower extra with that car, which is insane. Now, both these cars come on Pirelli P0s, but with the Dodge, you get P0 all seasons. I mean, Jesus, those are just crap. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That's just wheel spin. I don't know why. Ah, and there he goes. That's that's just raw power. Wow. That's impressive. Go for second. Three, two, one. definitely faster um, the great thing about the Hellcat is that it will spin its wheels on those stupid all-season tires up until like 120 kph <laughs> absolutely insane but hilarious at the same time man I, I just love that car I mean just for being so different it's it's the Fred Flintstone of performance sedans. <laughs> it's just so, it's not old school, it's prehistorical. And it's just awesome. Just an awesome, awesome car. I love the fact that in 2021, we can still drive cars like that. When it comes to handling though, you feel that this is a much lighter and more nimble car. I mean, the Dodge has this heavy, heavy engine and 
this nose is a lot more light so you can point it in a direction and it immediately goes it's really really nice i love that about the ghtm3 the turn in the front axle has gone is now so much better than with the f80 it's i think the biggest improvement of the GAT over the F80. Okay, now here we go. Three, two, one, go. I think at higher speeds I will catch him. Yeah, he's a bit faster. That thing will do 312. Even on the stupid old seasons, it will do like 36. It's a very, very fast car, as you can see. Wow, I'm not gaining on him. something I absolutely hate about the G80 it keeps keeps nannying about the tire pressures even though they are green 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 and green 2.5 bars 2.6 bars at the rear I don't know why it's a stupid system fix it BMW come on okay let's get in the charger and show you guys what that's like. And to make it a bit easier for Max, I'm going to put the race chip tuning to seven, the highest map setting, uh, and it should give it 630 horsepower, somewhere around that number it's currently at. So yeah, it's going to make it a lot faster and I think even a bit faster than the Charger even though it has that ridiculously powerful V8. So this is something I absolutely love about my car. I have the race chip, uh, which I completely love. I can turn it off, I can turn it on. I have different stages of power. It's really, really convenient. Uh, it's now in map seven race mode, uh, which Max is going to enjoy, I think. Do you have a key for this one? Uh, that helps. There you go, bud. Well, you come out of the carbon race seats and on this, like, couch. Typical for these cars. These seats are big and soft and very comfortable. And that is just carbon fiber race seats that grab onto you. And it's, it's, it describes those, the characters of the cars very, very well. Let's go. Um, I'm in track mode, uh, which is the fastest setting. You can even get more power in Europe with a Hellcat. Because AEC also built the Hellcat XR, which was fantastic. That thing was absolutely insane. Go check out the review Max made with that car. It's a complete beast. 900 horsepower around that number absolutely insane okay max is going to overtake me oh a little cupra right there <laughs> oh, i don't smile in that car i will admit and in this, I keep smiling. It's absolutely insane. It's such a hooligan. You can see that the bonnet is vibrating a bit. Uh, and that's because, you know, the American market, they don't do 270. 
This car is made for drag racing, burnout, stuff like that. It even has a line lock system to do massive, massive burnouts. Um, so in that mode, it only uses the front brakes so you can spin up the rear, the rear tires. Move over, you stupid German. I am impressed with the technique. I mean, I keep calling it this simplistic, raw power American vehicle. But if you look at what they did with the transmission, uh, the torque flight eight speed, it's a ZF eight speed like with an M3 competition, but they have calibrated it in a way that no one has. I mean, maybe Alpha in the Julia Q. That also is so crisp, so sharp. But what Dodge have done um, it's just incredible because the gearbox is hooked up to that heavy, heavy engine, uh, but it responds to the pedal so damn quickly. It's absolutely insane. Look at that upshift. It's freaking immediate. It, it honestly, it feels like a dual clutch unit, and I'm just amazed by how they did that because the Hellcat has been around for many, many years and it still feels like a very co competitive vehicle. Jesus Christ, stupid Dutch guy. There we go. Which one is faster? Wow. <laughs> I mean, should I have gone for a Charger Hellcat instead of the M3? Maybe, guys. Just maybe. I do feel like the M3... <laughs> That's because of the FI exhaust downpipes. Oh my god, it's cool. Wow, the sound of the M3. Well, I, I haven't heard it from the outside sitting next to it. <laughs> that was awesome. Now, where was I? Okay, yeah. Uh, M3 or Charger? Well, you cannot make the wrong choice. Both these cars are just absolute pinnacles of what they represent. This is American, big, very, very practical, very, very powerful, big, big smile on your face. And that is more about like track driving, precise driving, more of a precision tool. This is something I absolutely love because in Europe we used to get AMGs that do this, big power on the rear axle, big V8, big sound. but. Uh, AMG has lost that character. They are more going towards precision driving, advanced techniques, four-wheel drive systems. Uh, and luckily we still have Dodge to cover that area. And I love the fact that they do that. So, not really an answer to my question, but I still hope you like this video. You can subscribe by clicking the big button right here. And don't forget to check out that Hellcat XR video right here. Or check out the playlist of POV reviews. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you at the next one. Bye.